The hero's journey has and does take on many forms, some more well known than others. There is a popular tale called the Ramayana, which has just such a hero. Today, I ask the question, who is Rama? Rama is not only the seventh avatar incarnation of the supreme creator deity in Hinduism, known as Vishnu, but he is also a major deity throughout the entire pantheon and has a wide following. He is the central figure of the Hindu epic known as the Ramayana, which is also quite popular throughout the rest of Southern Asia. Rama symbolizes a model of reason, right action, and desirable virtues. He is the ideal king, husband, and brother. He at all times expresses an exemplary attitude as the perfect human that he was known to be. The journey of Rama, unfairly betrayed by his kinsmen, the purifier of the forest, seeker after his lost wife and conqueror of ultimate evil. His story is said to be an allegory for the journey of the soul. Being an avatar of the god Vishnu, Rama shares some of his symbolism with the other avatars, although there are places where his iconography is distinct. He quite often is seen holding or in the presence of both a bow and an arrow. He is quite often depicted alongside his brother, Lakshamana, and his wife, Sita. Generally, he is seen with princely adornments, a tall conical cap known as the Kirita Mukta upon his head, to denote his royal status specifically. He is shown as having dark complexion, usually a black or a blue, and typically wears reddish colored clothing. Long ago, King Dasharath ruled over the kingdom of Ayodhya. There, he had three wives, each of whom gave him at least one son. The king was known for being a man of his word and a graceful ruler, alongside his three queens. One queen named Sumitra gave him two sons. They were named Shatrugna and the other named Lakshman. Another of his wives named Kaiki gave him a son named Bharat. The final queen named Kausalia gave the king his eldest son named Rama. Also not to be forgotten, with King Dasharath becoming old in age, his eldest son Rama was set to be the next king in line. Everything was set for Rama to soon become king of the kingdom. That is, until the maidservant of the queen Kaiki whispered some wicked words into her ear. The maidservant said to the queen that she should not be happy for the success of Rama, seeing as how her own son would now be ignored and she most certainly would also gain less attention. At first, Queen Kaiki professed that she supported Rama and loved the boy. After a time, however, fear soon overcame her and she inquired to her maid as to how she could solve her new problem. The maid suggested that Kaiki should call upon the king to grant her two wishes. These two wishes would fulfill a promise the king had made to the queen a long time ago. The maidservant said that the queen should wish that not only would Rama be banished to the forest for 14 years, but that also her son, Bharat, should be crowned as king. As per the plan, Queen Kayaki went to King Dasharath and asked that he grant her the two wishes that he had promised to her also long ago. The king, being a man of his word, now found himself in quite a dilemma. King Dasharath was stunned into silence. He or his ancestors had never broken a promise and he was conflicted as to what to do next. When Rama arrived, his father was far too sad to even speak. 
So Kaiki spoke for him. Baharat is to be king and you are to be banished to the forest for 14 years, exclaimed Kaiki. Is that what my dear father desires? Asked Rama. Once again, Kaiki responded. Your father is keeping his promise to me. Rama decided to honor his father's words and conceded the throne to his younger half-brother, Baharat. At this news, Baharat attempted to go into exile with his brother Rama, but Rama refused and insisted that his brother stay behind to keep an eye on things. Then, just as was ordered by his father, Rama entered the forest for 14 years alongside his brother Lakshman and his devoted wife Sita. Rama is and has been an inspiration to many peoples and for a very long time. In fact, the Ramayana has had a widespread influence across Indian art and culture everywhere throughout the subcontinent. In various places across the world, different plays have been put on to reenact the Ramayana and the story of the life of Rama. These reenactments have even been performed in places like Broadway, London's West End, and even the United Nations headquarters.